The fight between Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. and Daniel Jacobs may be canceled. Stay tuned. Lovely. Um, let me get a pound of your Swedish chiba. Avada agent commissioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission was sent to Freddie Roach's wildcard boxing gym and waited all day to collect a sample from Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. At the end, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. refused, claiming that they did not have authority to take his sample. According to Bob Arum, who has been very vocal on this issue, the Nevada State Athletic Commission has the authority as soon as the promoter, Eddie Hearn, signed the contract to have the fight scheduled in Las Vegas. Chavez Jr. was suspended by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Eddie Hearn switched the venue to take place in Phoenix, Arizona. Bob Arum claims this is a clear violation of federal law, the Ali Act, and Arum harshly criticized Hearn for not respecting boxing and American laws. There will be another hearing on December 17th, three days before the fight, and the Arizona Commission has held back from licensing the fight and Chavez Jr. until after the hearing. This fight is in serious jeopardy. It's a shame because I was looking forward to this fight. You can call me what you want, but I was looking forward to this matchup. At the same time, I feel like we should not allow these kinds of sidestepping tactics to avoid drug testing. I respect fairness in the sport. It would be a shame if Daniel Jacobs got hurt by a drug cheat, even if it's just weed again. Chavez is a real pothead. What do you guys think? Still waiting on that heifer, Julio. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool, and fuck you, I'm out. Subscribe, 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 subscribe.